Are you unmuted? I'm unmuted. Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. First one of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, we got a one shot for you that is sure to make you go. Why am I watching these guys? Uh, that being said, it's going to be a third level one shot. So you'll probably enjoy it. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like this fine Murder Hobo shirt, phone case, duvet cover, pillow, whatever, uh, link is down there somewhere. Check it out. Most importantly, if you want to be on this show like Kevin, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, give us a shout. We'll get you on there. We have a talk show on Tuesday and every other Saturday, like tonight. Uh, we have a one shot, so that's something. Uh, we cannot include you in the campaign because that might wreck it. But hey, you know, we'll get you into a one shot, no problem. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. If you're in need of dice, if the dice Santa did not come along, check out at Pirate Dog Dice uh, on Twitter beautiful, for all your beautiful. personalized dice things. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success. <laughs> Try a little Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. They have over 60 cents. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a published writer like myself, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System. And international customers, if you haven't received your How to RPG with your cat, eh, uh, it's coming. Uh, domestic customers, <laughs> if you haven't gotten it, hit them up. I got mine about a week and a half ago. Uh, it's gorgeous it's and, nice and huge it's really nice Ooh, a lot of stuff there for how to rpg with your cat folks i'm tired of talking let's introduce you to the cast first off is kevin kevin who are you and who are you playing tonight hi i'm kevin i'm back on murder hobo <laughs> so much fun i am uh the game master and the host of the game night heroes podcast we are an actual play podcast that do some story driven stuff right now we're playing tanaris a campaign Your setting mic's unmuted, right Am I still muted? No, he was talking to me. Oh, okay. Oh, we got his word for a second. Yeah, you, you can hear me. I don't. I don't know. What I can hear you, Jess. Going, Great Kevin. friend. Keep going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we're playing Tenaris. It's a campaign setting for Fifth Edition, and it's really awesome. And uh, we're about to finish that up. We have a holiday episode that's floating around there right now. Elves die hard. Yeah, you heard that right. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I'm just excited to be back here on Murder Hobo. This is always a fun time. Time number four. I'm ready for a hundred some more times. Let's, let's bring it on. But you can find me. You got me, your uh, dice? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Just I, got some, I got some. I got some. I got some. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you can find me on the socials at Kevran Games or the show at Game Night Heroes. So, yeah. Nicely done. Kevin, glad to be welcome here. back. Always Thank glad you. to have you. Thank Next you. up is David. God, I hate David. I, I, oh, oh I God. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we <right> tonight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wow. You uh, you were muted that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were muted. I just understood, you know, red lips. <laughs> anyway, uh, hi, folks. I am David. I am one of the hobos here on Murder Hobo. Uh, <laughs> I see that, Frank. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't uh, hear I, it. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can usually find me on Tuesday nights on Between the Rolls. If not, you'll find me on Cacophony on our ever- other thursday show uh and um yes you'll also find me on the calamity campaign uh i play on the a side and the b side i play Inve on the a side and crow on the b side in cacophony i play zadar the arcane changeling trickster ro roguish guy girl whoever <laughs> it, they i think it's they, they. i think that's yeah, the yeah nice yeah they well done david last but certainly not least is carrie carrie same questions different answers well let's see uh i fill in on one shots whenever there's a need and i play on cacophony and then i play on the b side of the <laughs> calamity campaign is that what it is yeah it's calamity calamity okay <laughs> yeah. yeah and uh otherwise i usually hang out behind the camera and wrangle cool. dogs that's right yeah she does nice. <laughs> cool beans folks those are your players uh if you missed the intro these guys have just kicked the shit out of a bunch of bandits uh because they're heroes it was really no problem whatsoever uh they are headed back to the town the closest town is regifterville uh and they are headed there to uh pick up the coinage 
They get 300 gold pieces for the head of the bandito uh, and, you know, sell all the weird crap that they got. Uh, we head in there and uh, the city is circular. Okay. I, I can't, with this overlay, I can't throw up the screen, but it is a one dock coastal town, walled city, circular. As you go in the front gates, uh, the guards ask you, whoa, who are you and what are you doing? All right. I say, excuse right. me, sir. We're just coming in to sell our wares and see about having a little R&R. &R. <laughs> Rustin Ragu? No, sure, heroes, obviously. I mean, take a look at this hair, this cape. I mean, come on, man. Guards seem unimpressed, but don't look at you as a threat. Shocker. Uh, you are allowed <laughs> to go in. It is noon. Uh, you notice uh, storm clouds gathering above, portent of evil, uh, or just a thunderstorm. You know, it's really hard to say. Uh, cobblestone streets, so this place is kind of high, high end. Uh, no dirt roads here, so you aren't going to be walking through mud. Maybe a little horse shit, maybe a little tingleberry. What's your mount? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm riding a, uh, a reindeer, you think, because he's got really scraggly fur, really mangy. Got one of his antlers is all cracked off. He's got a weird kind of a nervous tick with his good eye. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I just cigar chomping, flicking my ashes wherever I want. Oh, sure. By all means, litter yeah. into the yeah. town that Yeah, that's you how we do. Uh, hey, so I don't ask you how you pay for your milk and cookies, okay? You know? That's that's true. Uh, Valiant and Cuddles, along with any uh, horse shit, you'll have to look for reindeer shit as you go through. Uh, it's right around noon, so the streets are kind of packed. Uh, people going to and fro, left and right. Uh, ahead of you, everybody give me a perception check, please. Oh, here we go. Well, well, uh, with a oh, thirteen, I got a nineteen. <laughs> Hopefully, that's enough. Off to a great start with a seven. Can I have Chip the reindeer make one too? Mm, does Chip talk to you in some means? No, not now. Well, then not yet. Uh, okay. Cuddles. You point out the Angry Dwarf Inn is just ahead on the right, and that place is happening. I mean, there's music blaring, there's people coming in and out, and uh, it smells like the color gray, not brown. So it might be <laughs> actually pretty good, and since it's nice, new, love it. uh, there's food. However, everybody hears a zing. Six cuddles just over your head, a crossbow bolt quizzes and embeds itself into the door frame right next to you. Oh, Everybody yeah. investigation check. Oh, investigation. Not good. Not, not good at that. Uh, Tingleberry's got a 12. Val, Val got a 17. <laughs> An 11 and a what? What Val get? 13. 7. Somewhere over there. <laughs> is where it came. Uh, the bolt itself is embedded into the door frame, and it appears to have a note wrapped around its shaft. <clears throat> or you can continue on. I paw up to grab the note. <laughs> I see what Cuddles is pawing at and <clears throat> pull the bolt out. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the note is written in the common tongue, and it says, Horatio's Pawn Shop, where your price is always on target. Oh, nice. <laughs> Perfect. This is just what we were looking for. Getting right. rid of all Pop these up bobbles. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Love it. Nobody it's else convenient. near you. Yeah, nobody else near you seems to give two shits about it. Uh, seemingly from their demeanor, happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it came from somewhere over there. Uh, Angry Dwarf Inn is, or Angry Dwarf Tavern is up on the right. Uh, there's a big old inn on the corner of the left, and then it empties out into a large plaza. None of you have been to Regifterville. Hmm. <clears throat> we want to ask any of the locals where this place might be? What place? The pawn, the shop. pawn shop. Oh, um, sure. Let's see uh, who you meet. I'd have some things to regift. Nice. 
Yeah, I got this signet ring we got off the that last guy. Uh, oh, that last a, guy we killed. It's a little boy, and he says, "Please, sir, may I have some money for some porridge before I tell you?" <laughs> What's the smallest amount of coin you can I can give someone? Copper. One copper. Oh, uh, copper is just an insult. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's Five. a kid. She hates kids. That's true. <laughs> uh, the boy takes it and he points across there and says, right over there, governess. And he points kind of across the big brick plaza. Uh, the plaza is pretty much the center of town. There's some kind of, I don't know, war memorial, war monument, something in front of a large cleric -y type building. Uh, other than that, uh, it's just a ring of uh, businesses. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll stroll around the promenade to try to find this uh, this pawn shop. Do you want to drift to the left or drift to the right? Uh, say we go right. Right, it is. This is going to take you right past the angry boar fin. Uh, as you oh. do so, you notice people moving in and out. Uh, the smells. Uh, go ahead and do constitution checks. Let's see if you like the smells or don't. <coughs> uh, Eighteen. I got a ten. Got a ten. <laughs> uh, Valiant oh. and Tingleberry. It's it's passable. Cuddles, uh, you're pretty sure they've got cheese in there. Oh, somewhere. I bet there's fish too. Sure, big <laughs> fish. Uh, as you guys walk past, uh, the Angry Dwarf Tavern sits right there on the corner. Just beyond it is a bookseller. As you pass by the Angry Dwarf Tavern, uh, the saloon style doors come up and a halfling is thrown into five cuddles uh give me a dexterity check to see if you land on your ass oh this is not gonna be good <laughs> seven uh down goes cuddles down oh. goes cuddles is that halfling swollen eye uh some rosiness on his jaw oh. uh three individuals <clears throat> Excuse me. Three individuals, uh, ruffians, if you will, uh, step outside and point at the halfling and tell him, uh, McFly, I'm tired of you. Uh, <laughs> so I picked then, the gnome up suitcase style. <laughs> halfling. 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 Sorry. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Here's a D and D question. Sure. Who's taller, halflings or gnomes? I always thought halflings. Oh, I'll say gnomes for sure. No, right? I'll say both. For purposes of this, eh. Hurry both up, small. or I'm going to rabbit kick his gut. <laughs> Number two <laughs> is rolled. Uh, that means, Valiant, you are approached by one of these individuals who says, uh, put him back down. He's crawling away. <laughs> he's crawling away? How's he crawling away when I got a hold of him? <laughs> you know, You're know, you going to put him down, and he's going to crawl away because I'm tired of him. You put oh. him down, or you're gonna have a problem with me. Oh, oh. oh. what do you do? Oh. Big words from a big and, guy, yeah. In that case, <laughs> I oh, say yeah, somebody I who's stand, riding an ostrich I is pretty stand big. Him up <laughs> and I say, stand your ground, little man. <laughs> the Quark brothers have swords, but it looks like. It's yield fisticuffs. Awesome. Oh, okay. We'll go with initiative. <laughs> oh, Lord. Eight. Rolling initiative. Yeah. Oh, right. boy. Valiant got a 20. Ooh, nice. Tingleberry's got a four, baby. Wow. Okay. I'm on, I'm on fire. <laughs> uh, Shep. You have Shep Quark, Valiant. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just like, look, gentlemen, you don't want any piece of this. <laughs> and as I say, as I say that, I am holding up my maul to him, big, Ooh, yeah. you know, freedom eagle-headed maul. Just sure. uh, 
Because yeah, nothing awesome. screams America like uh, exactly. Ball. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's capes, the stars and stripes, man. So. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him a little nudge with the mall. Uh, give me your intimidation check because it's gonna have to be pretty high. Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh. 18. Ty, he is unimpressed and he 19 plus four swats your maul away and says, put it down and fight like a man, you candy ass. Uh, Tingleberry <laughs> and Cuddles, the other two Quark, or Quark brothers, Joe and Larry, uh, laugh and then throw haymakers at you. So, uh, oh Tingleberry. Oh, yeah. Seven plus four, I'm assuming an 11 misses. That will miss, yeah. A uh, haymaker goes high, maybe hits the reindeer. Aw. Aw. Cuddles, <laughs> another seven plus four, 11. I'm assuming that doesn't get you either. It does not. Uh, apparently, the Quark brothers aren't very good, except for Shep, who's on Valiant. Uh, okay, Cuddles, you had the eight. Uh, and this guy is throwing a haymaker at you. What do you want to do? Uh, I will. I will cast Vicious Mockery at him. Oh. Okay. Nice. Little feelings. 19. Uh, your flowery language does not have an effect on him. I don't... I think Vicious Mockery's savers suck, is it not? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save. 19 plus or minus. Yeah, uh, 19 straight up. Yeah, that's uh, not going to anything. Nope, not at all. Uh, you give him some high-powered, falutin language. No, I say, your brother has the name of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> I guess that's uh, why it didn't work. <laughs> Tingleberry, you're up. Aloft your reindeer, I assume, unless oh, you yeah. dismounted. Oh, no. I stand up in the saddle. Stay right there, Chip. I pat him on the back. I take my cigar and I tuck it into my beret. And I pull out my long bow. Okay, now, Valiant told you guys to step back. Don't make me waste you, all right? I'm off duty right now. Um, and I just knock it and hold it up in an intimidating manner. Sure. Uh, Valiant, uh, D12 against me, please. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, 12. Okay. You rolled a 12, I bet. Okay, 9. Uh, strangely enough, Shemp, Joe, and Larry and starting round two, all three of you here <clears throat> Behind you. Behind us? <laughs> yep. Turn around, who's there? Slowly I turned. Yeah. Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are wearing guard tabards, uh, have spears. Oh, okay. I march forward and I say, These gentlemen were attempting to accost us. I have charisma. Persuade me. I bat my eyelashes. Yeah, it was big and nasty, and honestly, I feel really insulted. It was bad. It's bad news, guys. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, you've pled your case, and you've won your case. Uh, they push the reindeer's ass out of the way. Uh, carefully stepping over the pellets on the cobblestone. Be careful! Below. He has gas. And uh, motion for the Quark brothers to assume the position before checking for any concealed items. Uh, oh. <laughs> the Quark brothers seem to have Merry Christmas faced this issue before. Uh, the guards. Hey, nothing keep, but keep respect those keep for... those weapons holstered. Straight hey guards, in. could I you tell us which way you. to the? <laughs> Purr, purr, thank you, purr. What what color are their tabards? Uh, green in this. Green, a hey. tingleberry. Nothing but respect for the thin, uh, thin green line. So nice. here we go. 
Could you tell us where the pawn shop is that might have one of these? And I'll point to that arrow with the note on it. Could you point us in the direction? The advertisement? Mm -hmm. Right over there, uh, across the plaza, there's like an L-shaped building, and it says, what's the name of that place? Uh, Horatio's. Yes. I got That's it. Thank Horatio's. You. Uh, right over there, can't miss it. <clears throat> uh, meanwhile, he is already prodding, uh, and the Quark brothers Dude, are kind of in, the in street. distress. That's gross. Oof. Hey, medieval times. <laughs> you hear that, Ajax? Wow. You try uh, going down Yikes. Columbia Street on a reindeer. Uh, so, yeah, people are moving to and fro. Uh, those storm clouds. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna fucking pour. So anytime soon, uh, people are in a hurry. They're moving about. Uh, there's one uh, guy feeding the pigeons. Uh, so there's birds all over the plaza, directly uh, in between you and Horatio's. I ran to the to... birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that answers that questions. Uh, everybody, roll a d12 against me. Whether or not we get crap done. Ten. Six. Three. Oh, four. Yes, Valiant, whether you get crapped on, uh, four and three do not beat a six. Tingleberry, Valiant, and Tingleberry's oh. mount. As yeah. the tabaxi chases off all the pigeons. Uh, not the first the, time, won't be the be last here, time. Here. <laughs> <laughs> the individual gives you the stink eye cuddles uh, as he was apparently enjoying himself. Uh, but you are now in front of Horatio's. Oh, Good. gosh. I, I go in. Uh, after, oh, wait. Uh, like, I have uh, pressed a digitation. <coughs> Would you like me to take care of that for you? <coughs> Would you please? <laughs> Thank Since you. you do that for me all the time, sure. <laughs> You're all clean. Oh, there goes uh, that. That's a load off my wallet. No more dry cleaning this. <laughs> and a load off your forehead. Uh, a small, older gnome uh, is currently dealing with an individual already in there. Uh, the gnome has on an apron. Uh, appears to be possibly the proprietor. Uh, you can wait, or you can peruse the items within the store. Peruse. Yeah, I'll look around for sure. Yeah, well, Perez. There are six tables. Each of the tables has uh, a variety of trinkets, really. Uh, some mundane, some unusual, small sculptures. Uh, there's even a macaroni individual, an individual made out of macaroni. Uh, <laughs> So, you meant like walking around. I was like, what? <laughs> it's no, a, it's no, no constructs. <laughs> yeah. it, it. it is. It is you silly Jerry. Uh, the man in the apron, does he notice you bite it? With a one, he does not notice that you have bit it and broken Fusilli Jerry. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> everybody roll a D8 for me, please. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. We pick good night dice, Ajax. <laughs> Two. Uh, you see a pair of ornate mahogany bookends in the shape Ooh. of a nubile goddess. When I say nubile, clearly I mean naked. Uh, Valiant, what was yours? Uh, four. Uh, you find an old milk crate. <laughs> okay. Uh, th but it tings. So if you want to look in it, you, you can. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> uh, it's very dark inside this milk crate because the milk crate is three feet tall. Uh, but then suddenly you see White eyes open up. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's All right. Funny. Sounds promising. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to illuminate <clears throat> the situation. So, okay. I kind of back away a little bit. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Uh, you hear some scratching. Uh, number eight, Cuddles, uh, you have found an old globe. Uh, unfortunately, somebody has scratched out some of the names and then used an 
ink quill to rewrite the names. It's so it's kind of a secondhand kind of item. It is a pawn shop, but but what's in the middle of the globe? Uh, do you want to pick it up? Yes. It feels kind of hollowish. So it's not like a globe that you can shake and like there's a scene in the middle. No, it's like a earth globe. Oh, okay. Yeah. The snow globe would have been a cool idea, though. Good fun. What color is it? Uh, brown. <laughs> okay, I set it back down. <laughs> not getting uh, a good feeling about this I'm place not. here, guys. <laughs> you guys are all at different tables. Valiant, uh, whatever is inside that milk crate is, or milk container, is scratching. Okay, is it making any other noises besides the scratching, like cooing or anything like this? It is not. Mogwai song or something? <laughs> Feed it after midnight. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get the proprietor's attention. <laughs> Three. Uh, the proprietor, Horatio, picks up on Tingleberry and says, Fine eye for detail, uh, my curious young man. That right there is a perfect set of bookends. Ain't she sweet? Now uh, they're definitely perfect, all right. But uh, we're looking more to be selling some stuff today instead of buying, friend. As luck would have it, I'm in the buying and the selling business. What do you have? I assume these two are with you. Oh yeah, these are my trusty companions. We're traveling together for some time. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a run in with some highwaymen outside of town and. We got a few little trinkets that we'd like to maybe uh, sweeten your pot with. Hmm. Uh, folks at home, each one of these have rolled for items uh, beforehand. So each one has a specific item. Uh, somebody, and I'll roll a d6, for Tingleberry, uh, because you had mount, uh, you have yep. a bag of other materials, uh, copper goblets, things of that nature. Okay. Bootay from the uh, bandits. Yeah. Uh, Horatio introduces himself to all three of you and says, what do you got? I have this lovely gold thimble. Okay. Puts it back down. Hmm. I'm what insulted. else you got? I slide it back in my pouch and I put my tail up and walk away. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to piss off a tabaxi friend. I, I'd like to see everything so I can give you my honest opinion. I go over and start pushing stuff off of a table. That's that's how we gnomes do it, Cuddles. That's how we gnomes do it. I will go. I'll get the bag off of the back of Chip the Reindeer, and I'll kind of drag it through the store and slap it up onto his counter. Some of it spills out and knocks down in behind the counter and makes sure. a big old jingle jangle. Yeah, and he, I'll take he out takes, the... He takes a look at each item. Mm -hmm. I take out the signet ring that I got from the head bandit, and I slap it up on the counter. Mm -hmm. You... Uh... Nice haircut guy. Well, I'm not sure if it's necessarily valuable, but it's pretty ornate and it's made out of solid brass. And uh, hand him the button. Button. Hmm. Brass button. Now, Cuddles, you picked up your item, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So the golden thimble of Cuddles is not on the table. The brass button of Val and the copper signet ring from Tingleberry are on there. Uh, Horatio gives it some thought, moves everything from the bag to one side, does not include the button, does not include the signet ring, and says he'll give you 45 gold pieces for all of this crap. I'm fine with that. What do you guys think? Uh, that's yeah, your seems... share, so, you know. Yeah, seems fair. Well, the, the bag the was for all of it. Oh, okay. Each one of you took one item that I interested see. you the most. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Sure. I'll be right back with your coins. He leaves. Tingleberry, Valiant, your two items are just sitting there. Okay. I'll snatch mine back up then. Put it back in my little belt pouch since he doesn't want to buy it. Sure. Okay. Uh, Valiant, Tingleberry, Cuddles, roll a straight up D20. Oh, boy. Okay. Tingleberry's got a 14. 18. I'm going to make this interesting. 
<laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, roll a d6, please. Okay. Roll a death save, a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Strength, dexterity, constitution. <coughs> if you develop a cough, remove one constitution point from your stat block. Uh, 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 oh. Must be allergies. Is it something <laughs> in that crate? Uh. Probably. <laughs> uh, the gnome returns as a stack, counts them out. 10, 10, 10, 5. Uh, uh, knocks the button. button back to you, Valerie. Yeah, I catch it. <laughs> He's very nice. rude. Uh, that's okay. Um, there you go. Anything you want to buy? I asked him, what's in this milk crate? I looked in it and, uh, yeah, I found some eyes looking back at me. And a little kitten head <gasps> pops up out of it. It's uh, pure black. Oh, oh! That's, that's my cat, friend. How much for the cat? Cat's not for sale. And you need to take those other items out of here. I go up to him with my claw and I say, "You treat this cat well." Well, it's still alive, isn't it? <laughs> it's it was in the bottom a, of a milk crate. It was in the where, bottom of a milk crate. It could have died. Where milk was? <laughs> it could have drowned. It's where the milk was. So. <laughs> Doubtful. Uh, I give him a little scribbles on the head. <laughs> Anything else you want to ask him? Will you treat this cat well? Yes, I give you my word. <laughs> to Jeebus Crisp, I promise you. Very well. Hail Satan. Do you, uh, do you know anything about those bullies at the tavern over there? They're kicking around a halfling a little bit. <laughs> the Quark brothers? Yeah. Yeah, what's up mm -hmm. with them? They're idiots. Uh, well, well that much we figured out, but why are they beating up on the halfling? Uh, male or female halfling? His name was Marty. I assume it was a guy, but that could uh, go both ways, I guess. Uh, Marty uh, tends to take things that don't belong to him. Mm. Oh. Not that the Quark brothers need much push to figure that out. Right. Right. It's frontier uh, justice, I guess. Yeah, I, I start feeling for my gold pouch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. That's a good call. <laughs> and, yeah, every, everybody still has uh, all their money, including Cuddles, who he ran into. I asked okay. him a, uh, where should we go for some dinner and a place to stay? Uh, the Angry Dwarf Tavern has some good fare, and then uh, directly across the street is an inn. Thank you. Perfect. The gendarmes in. Gendarm. <laughs> well, thank you, for for you folks. Oh, my pleasure. Oh man. What is the cat's name? Shadow. Shadow. Okay. It's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I was gonna use Sundown, but I, I'm not gonna use any Top Gun references tonight. <laughs> nice. Probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I pet the kitty before leaving the store. And, sure. Yeah. Them storm clouds are really filing in. Uh, you can go to the Gendarme Inn or you can hit the Angry Dwarf Tavern. <laughs> we'll go secure in. Make sure we yeah. have our rooms ready. Then we go get drink. We uh, get plenty drunk and then we got a place to crash. Better to do in that order, I think. You know. Sure. That that works. Works. Yeah. Plan. Uh, plan. Pitter patter of rain droplets are starting to fall. Uh, you get you get all the way across the plaza, go into the gendarme inn. Uh, not busy at all. There's a half elf female there. She introduces herself as Glenda uh, and asks what she can do for you. Uh, but first, everybody roll a d10. Okay. Or a D20, I'm sorry. D20. D20. Okay. Oh, now I've got a one. <laughs> I have a nine. I panicked for a second. It's a seven. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. You guys suck so bad. Uh, Love it. Two hit points, Cuddles. Two hit points, Valiant. Tingleberry, roll a D6, please. Oh, what the no. Hell? <laughs> 
five? Uh, wisdom, right? Strength, dexterity, yes. constitution, tough. Wisdom. Uh, yeah. You might have dementia, but you've forgotten why you're here. Drop wisdom by one point. Wow, oh, man, I'm a I'm a ranger. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Trying to lose that. All right. So wisdom. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, does anything might... happen to Chip the reindeer? Or is he too hardy for all this nonsense? He's too, yeah. he's too hardy for this. I love it. Love it. Okay. Uh, so what was it that I lost again? Two points of. One point constitute. Oh, two hit points. Two what hit the hell points. was that for? Okay. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, to remind Tingleberry, uh, you want rooms? Do you want three rooms? Do you want two rooms? Do you want one room? Uh, How that many thing rooms is, are it's got to stay outside. Seven. How much are they per room? Uh, two gold pieces per room. I'll take my own room. But the reindeer has to stay outside. That's, up That's fine. That's fine. Do you have a, a room that maybe has a walkout or something? Uh, yes, actually. From the uh, thing, uh, there is a stable at the other end of the block, but you can go out the back door as long as you don't hit the emergency exit sign and sound the alarm. Yeah, just perfect, don't push perfect. on the bar. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can bunk up, I say, point and valiant. Um, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll slap two gold down. Unless you need your beauty rest by yourself. I mean, uh, I know I snore pretty bad, so. Well. And farts. Farts and, when he's. Yeah, oh, there's that yeah, too. Yeah. I, yeah. That, yeah. I recall <laughs> that. And it's just like, uh, yeah, I, th I think I'll, I'll I'll sleep in my own room tonight. I could, yeah, use, the, I could use the rest. I'm, if you could uh, sneak I'm the not, chip in, she won't know. You know, I still have that cough. So, yeah. Don't want to pass anything to you. Yeah, okay. So, Appreciate that. Uh, now that you guys have secured your room, do you want to leave stuff in your room? Do you want to take the reindeer down to the stables? Yeah, I'll take him down to the stables. He doesn't like <laughs> to freak anyway since that one time he got super, super shit-faced and messed up some stuff. So, you know, I'm going <laughs> to take him down to the, the stable. He can kind of rest out down there. Pedals and Val, do you follow him down there or do you head over to the angry tavern? And, uh, I say, hey, meet place? us over at the... Uh angry gnomish dwarf guy tower. whatever yeah angry dwarf yeah you got it angry dwarf yeah. Tingleberry you arrived at the stable yeah you were trying to oh Jesus you, yeah you were trying to stable your mount yeah that's what, that's that's what you were doing yeah that's right. <laughs> right Uh so you get there it's gonna cost one gold piece I'll take good care of uh, Blitzen uh, and be fine okay yeah all right and I he think said one one gold piece. Yeah, I think I don't. I, I don't think I paid you for that yet. So I end up actually giving him two because he shafts me a little bit. Sure. Ah, uh, everybody roll nice. d twenty. Yeah. Five. Fourteen. I just want to say, audience, with these low rolls, I am not rolling murder hobo dice. Just so you know, that's why they're so low. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> who had the five? I did. Tingleberry. Uh, Valorant, what'd you have? Yeah, 12. Uno hit point, Tingleberry. Oh, man. It's a pain in the neck now. Or maybe oh. it's this side. Hey, you're having trouble remembering. This. Maybe it's both, yeah. Uh, give me a wisdom check to make sure that you remember it's the Angry Dwarf Tavern and not the Dwarf Angry Tavern. Sure thing. <laughs> straight, just straight up wisdom? Yep. Uh, 15. Angry dwarf, angry dwarf, angry dwarf, angry dwarf, angry dwarf. Uh, you go inside, Valiant and Cuddles have already found a table. There are no Quark brothers here. Uh, and the place is lively. It smells cinnamony and has baked fish uh, oh, as the special of it. the day. Valiant and Cuddles, I assume you've already ordered? Yeah. Did you order for Tingleberry or say, fuck him, he's... An idiot. I wasn't <laughs> sure what he would like. Ah, uh, so you said I ordered him an <laughs> L and I ordered and I ordered myself my Chardonnay. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, everybody roll Constitution straight up. Uh, right. to see how you like it. Oh boy, this is not good. Four. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. 
I'm a little disadvantaged, but still with uh, 18 plus a three. So yeah, I'm good. Nice. You, you really like the Chardonnay. Tingleberry? Yeah. I got a uh, nine total. Yeah, you've had better ale. Uh, Cuddles, you're pretty sure the anus fish does not agree with you. Oh, uh, it's a uh, kind of flat eyes are on both side. It's and... the bung fish. That's I right. I start to harf up a hairball. Okay, that that will make everybody happy. <laughs> uh, you got the place Bed sound. Lively. Yeah, there's uh. <laughs> Uh, they they offer you a free drink if you'll just leave. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> just get out. <laughs> I can't believe you serve this kind of filth here. <laughs> what kind of drink are you offering? Uh, what do you want? I would like some more milk, please. <laughs> sure. Will that curb the problem? Yes. Then you may stay. Thank you. Uh, uh, there is a group of gnomes. Uh, they are the band. They're here to say hi. Nice. They have two lead singers. One is named Jake, uh, and the other one is named Elwood, uh, you believe. Uh, so oh. they, are, they are playing lively, spiffy tunes. The two lead singers uh, dance-ish. Uh, it doesn't really nice. agree with you looks kind of weird they're wearing weird hats and dark lenses on their eyes uh but the band <laughs> is good uh another round yeah how long do you, i mean how long do you guys want to stay here another round it'd be good okay. yes. yeah. uh, especially this, if they start singing uh god what was the song from the movie stand uh, by your man <laughs> no, yeah <laughs> yeah right right they, they will likely play stand by your man and then rawhide <laughs> so uh it, it's actually a, a really good crowd everybody's pretty friendly only a few mugs are tossed at these guys uh they wander around they're very personable very high on charisma uh and they are going to ask to dance with cuddles on uh, jake even elwood a short, fat one, Jake, wants to dance with you. I would be pleased <laughs> to dance. He tips his lenses down. <laughs> I like the maxi. Uh, spins you around the dance floor. Everybody's clapping. Uh, everything is good. Everybody roll a d20. Mm. Nine. Eleven. Ten. Uh, you might have clawed yourself, Cuddles, because you're missing another hit point. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> uh, but uh, the band takes a break and says, "We'll be right back with you." <laughs> <laughs> Don't take any rubber biscuits. Huh? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the crowd—it's it, starting to get dark. It's fucking pouring rain out there. I mean, it's raining cuddles and dogs out there. Oh, um, oh. hey, but, you know, the fire's warm in here. Uh, the atmosphere is good, except for the bungfish. Uh, everything seems to be good. So, are there other people from out of town in this place, or are they all? No, you see a few travelers, a few merchants. Do they look like they're feeling poorly? <laughs> No, they actually look like they're having a good time. Okay. You can talk to them if you want. Yeah, I would I would like to go talk to them. Sure. Uh, give me a D8, please. Five. Uh, there's a half-orc male close to you. He certainly does not appear as though he belongs in this town. Well, sure. I'll go buy him an ale and have a chat. Sure. What do you say? Hi. So you don't appear to be from here. What? Do, what is your business here? Uh, the high pitch of the voice indicates to you that this was not a male, as initially expected, and this individual is a half orc. Pretty low charisma. Uh, grabs the ale, uh, pours it, uh, get, gets a little bit of it in her mustache, 
uh, no, I'm not from here. Uh, I'm from Toulouse. Uh, it was a long Lautrec, uh, but I'm here now. <laughs> wow. So uh, how have you found the town to be? Uh, actually, unlike a lot of towns here, these folks seem to treat me very well. You know, I've had this disturbing, like... And she's got foam in her mustache now. Uh, I <laughs> reach up and I, I bat it away. She bats your hand away. Don't touch me. I, 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 I like your, I like your friend, odd even. Uh, Tingleberry, but not you. <laughs> well, that's fine. Would you like to come over and join our table? Sure. Uh, Cuddles brings over a half-orc female, and she has a charisma of five. Wow. <laughs> and she sits next to you, Tingleberry, and does the... <laughs> how, many, how many drinks have I had? Uh, three. <laughs> okay. So she's like a eight or nine charisma at this point in time. Oh, okay, okay. Still looks Get better that. than your mount. <laughs> yeah, so, right. Continuing the conversation, I'm like, you know, ever since I got in here, I've like had this debilitating headache. It just keeps. Has anybody else had that? Maybe it's that hairball that you were trying to choke up. <laughs> I already got that out. It's fine. Yeah, right. No, I'm just I'm feeling fine. a little raspy. Memory um, issues? Anything? I don't. I don't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> 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 All right, she, well. she pats you lovingly on the leg. I guess we'll just have to have some more drinks until the uh, band comes out. Sure. Uh, more uh, drinks, yeah. I, we're celebrating yeah. something, I think, Dr right? Maybe. Drinking game. I think, so. I think it's your birthday, Tingleberry. Oh, perfect. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is the half work name? Uh, Matilda. Last wow. name Walsing. <laughs> wow, you're just pulling nice. it all out tonight. Yep. Yeah. He's ready with these. It's this random table ship. I love these things. <laughs> Matilda Walsing is her name. Wow. Uh, she points out uh, that she is actually an armorer. Oh. Oh, nice. How interesting. So blacksmith. See? Black. Oh, we see. He's got the guns. Smith. Oh, yeah. He's got <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> oh, nice. So, nice. Yeah. I got a tattoo, too, and I stand up on the chair and I pull down, I show her my butt. There's a candy cane tattoo there. I got that from one of the other guys at the workshop. If you ask her to look at another it. life. <laughs> Ooh, let's not get crazy. We're in the middle of the tavern here, Cuddles. The, the, the uh, fangs. Uh, uh, the, no, these are fangs. Oh, not, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I got a little. <laughs> the visual got a little interesting there, Frank. Uh, and there, there, there you go. You go. Was, uh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, did we mention this was for mature audiences? Absolutely. <laughs> you've, been here, you've been here for 50 fucking minutes. If you she doesn't happen that to out. know anybody named Walter or Mortimer J. Sneed, does she? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of her. Okay. Nice. Uh, you guys have a couple more drinks. Everybody yeah. roll a D20. Oh, this is going to yeah. hurt. See, now I want to get a natural one. Can I Can I just take in that one? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Eleven. Um, Seventeen. <laughs> Apparently it's magic ale because you guys are feeling fine now. Uh, she buys a round. Oh, oh a... my kind of lady. Okay. <laughs> and uh, make sure she clinks mugs with you, but it's for a protracted amount of time. Uh you're getting a vibe. <laughs> You're getting a vibe, huh? Yeah. I kind of lean over in the Valiant. I'm like, I'm glad we got those separate rooms. Yeah, I was after just going to say, I'm yeah, so I was glad. about to say, <laughs> this is going to be so much better way. than Blitzen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, after so I, I clink his glass. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> after a few more drinks, the band comes back and they start playing a very strange tune, but it's very pleasant, but it's very methodic and they just keep playing it over and over again uh, <laughs> Let me it's, guess. it's it yes it What's is the scene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh tingleberry uh your paramour uh asks uh if you have anything interesting to see in your room uh, well, we had a little run in with some highwaymen. It was pretty exciting. Ooh, adventure, oh, yeah. you say? 
Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I was uh, confused with the candy cane on your tushy. <laughs> oh, don't be confused. That was well earned, too. I um, No, we had to run into some hot women on the way here. I got this, and I actually pull out the signet ring. Nice. And I wave it towards her. Nice. Be you careful. Know what? She'll think you're asking to marry her. You can ha- you can have that one. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I I don't want that. You don't want to buy ring? What? What are we talking about here? What? Your room is what we were talking about. Oh. Uh, I lean over and go. She wants to bone you. It, now oh, remember, yeah. <laughs> she is in between you, so using your abilities, you're right at her ear when you say that. Oh, or I would say, she, she wants to lick the... your candy cane. <laughs> there we go. She gives you the wink. I'm working for you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm at least here for the night. So, I mean. Uh... <laughs> wow. He's not got... going to remember it in the morning anyway. Right? <laughs> she... That's her eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gets that eyebrow ready to go. Awesome. Uh, She's ready. She says, I really like it when you tug on my nose ring. Oh, if man. you know what I mean. I'm just picturing the the woman on dodgeball teams on the Cobras. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Missy Pyle, boys uh, and girls. I lean over. Pyle. She might have other piercings. <laughs> I'm not. So I'm getting this is um, pretty legitimate. I'm not, she's not trying to uh, beguile us or anything. Is there any no, sort of she's, that? She's she's going hard to the hoop. Okay. She really likes you. Oh. All right. Well, and, you know and, what? And in this banter back and forth, uh, give me another D10, everybody. Oh no. Or D, <laughs> sorry, D20. D20. Okay. Twelve. Seven. Seventeen. Uh, Tingleberry. Yeah. It's like it's like you got a cavity or something. There's a lot of <gasps> lot, lot of pain in your mouth right now. You're taking two hit points of damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Does well, he uh, I say we better we just, better get this going here before I. Say, I you just look like you had a happening. pain. Are you okay? <laughs> what? I think what, what <laughs> we're talking <laughs> about. Uh, Matilda says, you don't have mouth issues, do you? Because that's kind of important. <laughs> I lean over and say, does your tongue work okay? Always. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> no, I got a little bit of a pain in my, my jaw all of a sudden there. Uh, I'm not sure what that was about. Um, PMJ. You, know. <laughs> you probably get more of it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Lockjaw. Right. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pass, though. I, uh... D12 against me there, Tingleberry. Oh, boy. <laughs> 11. Uh, five. Uh, well, it's probably that cursed ring that you got. What? And yeah, I the, think... the bandit problem. Uh, these yokels uh, decided to mess with the bandits and... Uh, left some cursed items out for him to get. Well, son of a bitch. Uh, son of a bitch. That explains it. <laughs> Why, do you guys you guys have problems? Yeah, we each got, got an item. <laughs> well, now, you know, normally I charge for information like that, but... Uh, hey, Matilda, I mean, sweetie, come on. You can work with me here. I, I can work with you. I think yeah. that Tingleberry would be more than happy to work that off for you. Tingleberry will do another D12. If you beat me, uh, she'll go ahead and wait till you resolve the issue. If I beat you, Mm -hmm. you're going to have to pay in advance. Oh, no. All right. 12 coming at. Another five. Six. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more if... uh, there's a transaction. Well, you have a drive sexual a hard nature, bargain, lady. Or are you wanting money? So. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll be back in about a minute and a half, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That means, she's gonna, 
Everybody has to roll another D20. I don't know if she's going to consider that payment. <laughs> wow. Twelve. Okay. My D20 must be stuck on this number. 17, man. Seven. <laughs> Single bear. I'm all terrible tonight. Uh, you can't tell if it's the action or something else, but you suffer one hit point of damage, probably in the groinal region. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pulled a hammy. That's right. You pulled us something. Uh, however, she goes ahead and imparts the knowledge upon you that uh, she thinks there were three or four cursed items, uh, and each item has to go back to its owner. Son of a bitch. How All do you right. find that owner? Uh, the pawn guy, Horatio, the one with the stupid bolt ads. Oh, God damn him. He did that, that guy's an asshole. And now he's really an asshole. What? He knew. He's a cat owner. Well, yeah, but you didn't ask. <laughs> he knows we're not bandits. He should have said something. He does not know that. You guys were petting his cat. It's true. That's, that's all you know. Well, there's nothing we could do here in the middle of the night. So uh, we'll go yeah, see it's him first. It's only like thing. Eight, 8, 9 o'clock. Well, I know oh. Horatio's open. He's probably closed, time. though. You can uh, run across the uh, thunderstorm plaza. I can't peer out the window and see. Is his, is his neon sign still on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The sign's still lit. That's right. Because uh, Guy didn't shut it off. Uh, yeah, you can you can run across the plaza. Okay, yeah. we'll do that. We'll do it. You're going to leave Matilda behind? Matilda's I'll be back, baby. Off. Oh, okay. That that wild minute and a half uh, ride was all it was good take. Okay, everybody roll straight up D twenty as lightning starts to fill the air. Twelve. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> nineteen. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, all three of you dodge the falling rain and make it over to Horatio's. He is just starting to lock up. He turns uh, uh, around. Uh, 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 I go, what do you guys want? <laughs> what? We need some answers, friend. Uh, B, C, and the King of England. No. <laughs> you Good saw the one. items that we had, and you did not disclose that they were cursed. You didn't ask. Really? Each one of you has a cursed item. Yes. Right. There you go. Have a good night. Why didn't you? Whoa, 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 whoa! Where do these uh, where do these items come from? Where's the owners at? Well, it depends on the item. I have uh, a thimble. I hold the ring back up. Button. <laughs> Uh, Cuddles with the golden thimble, he points down the street along the side. Uh, so you guys started here, went to the angry dwarf, went to the inn, went to Horatio's. Yours is over here. Uh, the church, uh, is the owner of the button, I believe. Okay. Yes. Uh, Those religious assholes always the, trying to fuck people the over. The bishops uh, gave us his button to use, uh, and the signet ring belongs to the magistrate, which is across the way on the other side of the church. So you can go to the right or left as you face it, uh, down the street, and go talk to uh, the witch who enchanted the items. Uh, or you can go to the Church of Jebus in the center of the plaza with the button, or you can go across the street to the magistrate's office. Uh, his name is Josiah Pence. Nice. So if we go back to the witch, is she going to be able to take the curse Undo off it. of them? Uh, no, the curse is very specific as I understand it. I was... Uh, Part of the uh, investigation on this because Gee, thanks know, for helping a, us out. Uh, you didn't ask. Uh, nothing's nothing in life's for free. I'm just trying to tell you before I get soaked. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, roll a d20. See if the lightning comes close to you. Fifteen. Nineteen. At twenty. Yeah, lightning. Lightning is light currently. Uh, Harriet uh, will not be able to remove it. Uh, Harriet's probably not going to want that thimble back anyway because it's cursed now. Uh, so, yeah. But you, you can ask her. Can we give it to someone? No. 
Everybody in town knows what those things are. I well, saw no, that no. I'm saying <laughs> if we found somebody that didn't know what they were, could we give it to them? Oh, sure. Okay. Just checking. So, Harriet, the witch, down the street, middle of the plaza, uh, Church of Jebus, the button, across the plaza, the magistrate, signet ring. Hmm. Well, the witch owned the thimble, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know. The... So I don't care which ones you guys go. They're all equidistance away. So let's just start. Which one of us seems the most worse off? Well, I guess. that'd be you. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> you don't have any memory and you keep hurting yourself. And you're sleeping yeah. with half works. Yeah, that's right. Sleeping and okay. sleeping well. Mm. <laughs> All right, then. Let's, uh, let's make our way to the uh, magistrate, then. Magistrate means you cross the plaza. They're First well. off, everybody do uh, the lightning yeah, check. Yeah. Lightning. Oh, fuck me. One. Oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <Five>. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Val? Five. five, five oh, Val is closest. Uh, cuddles! Pew! Your hair I stands heard. straight up right before the bolt of lightning hits you. Uh, cuddles, DC 15 versus acrobatics. Valiant, DC 15 acrobatics at advantage. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, seven. <laughs> seven? <laughs> Uh, 19. Okay, you will take no damage. Cuddles! <laughs> Two and a one. Three hit points of damage as the lightning hits you. Uh, oh. However, it's been a while since you guys have rolled for the curse, so give me another d20, everybody. Here we go. Flirt with danger. <laughs> okay, I, and I borrow Dave's die, so I have a 17. There you go. Uh, hopefully it's lucky. Number 13. <laughs> it is lucky enough. Cuddles, you take one hit point of damage. As you also develop tooth problems. Great. Maybe you're That's thinking about spelling. Matilda a little bit too much. You Definitely. cross the plaza and there is a guard not looking happy, holding his halberd uh, outside. Whoa, what do you want? I will press to digitate you dry if you let us in to see the magistrate. Roll an insight check. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that will be 22. You rolled an 18. You both realize that it is currently fucking raining. I'll just get wet again. <laughs> uh, what do you need to see the magistrate for? We have some property of his we want to return. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on in. I'll escort you in. I.e., he wants to get warm and dry as well. Uh, I'd trust to digitate you once you're inside. He would accept that as a reasonable solution. Nice. Uh, Lone Guard and the Magistrate Pence. Uh, Josiah Pence uh, is sitting behind a desk uh, filled with paperwork. Uh, may I help you? I make the guard dry first. <laughs> you want to rephrase that? <laughs> I think wow. that's what, she I blows think that's off what the guard Tingleberry's, <laughs> Tingleberry's girlfriend does for me. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, you, you dry him off and he thanks you. Uh, the signet ring has a big M on it, by the way. Uh, M for motherfucker? Josiah <laughs> says, uh, that's not mine. My name's Josiah Pence, JP. Could be a W, which is your middle name. Or an M for magistrate. Yeah. Uh, my middle name is Steve. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Uh, the, well. the guard says, well, "Yeah, you are the magistrate. Isn't that your signet ring? That's what uh -huh. you use to do the wax thingies." Fucker. Magistrate seems to be 
disturbed <laughs> by getting called out. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, uh, regardless of what my guard here says, uh, that's not mine and I don't want it. That's okay. We're Insight checks. Check. Yeah, I was <laughs> saying, is this guy is this guy for real? <laughs> Insight checks will be accepted. All right. Oh, uh, Thir- 13. Wow. Valiant, I'm going to need you to make a D20 roll with that oh, one. No. <laughs> uh, Tingleberry, he's lying. Uh, okay. 18. Uh, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> the magistrate stands up. Uh, you guys notice that he's wearing chain mail uh, and picks up a sword with a ornate P on it. Uh, not like what Cuddles does everywhere. Yeah, uh, this is one hey. letter. At least she buries it. You know, that's true. <laughs> uh, and he grips the handle of the blade and says, "You need to leave and take that thing with you." Look, you're gonna take this damn ring back, okay? Because I just had to have some fun that I would have had anyway with a half orc. But uh, how you know. would explain the smell? Oh yeah. You know it, pal. But you're going to take this ring so we can be back on our way. We're going to break a curse. We dealt with your bandits. It's the least you can do is to take this thing back and help me out in return. All right? Persuade me. Oh, (laughs) jeez. With my eight charisma. (laughs) Here we go. Um, Persuasion. 18 on my roll. 15. Uh, Thanks for dealing with the bandits. And no, get out. He draws his blade. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Like Donkey Kong. 19 for him. You want me to roll for you? Uh, 11 for you. Val? Yeah, that's a big whopping eight for initiative. <laughs> nice throw. Tingleberry. I just beat him with a nine. Wow. Uh, the magistrate says, screw this. Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't have a sword. He has a morning star. Oh, uh, even better. With a JP on it. Uh, yeah. Probably JP Morgan. Uh, and he's going to take a mighty swing right at Tingleberry's head. Great. Think so 10 plus 5 is a 15. That hits me exactly. The morning star glances off your forehead, possibly stunning you, depending on how much damage there is. Jesus Christ, another two and a one. Uh, three hit points of damage as you take a glancing blow. Uh, the guard is puzzled. <laughs> uh, 11 cuddles uh, Tingleberry's taking one in the dome what do you want to do laugh at me oh. what's Valiant doing uh, he goes last go last <laughs> um I will use my rapier. Ooh. Cutting the man. Good. Oh, shit. Um, plus five, seven. Oh, hi. <laughs> Not even close as you spear his stack of papers and flick them off the desk. Well, that's especially everywhere. cutting as well. Tingleberry, you're the one that took the uh, shot over the bow, if you will. You are up. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to definitely see if there's a problem with yell to the guard. Hey, maybe help us here a little bit, pal. And, uh, I'd uh, rather not get involved. <laughs> 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 and uh, <laughs> I'm going to at least try to give us a uh, right <coughs> chance against this guy. He looks pretty tough. So I'm going to okay. cast Hunter's Mark okay. and uh, on him. And so then I'm going to draw my long bow. And no, you know what? I would draw a hand axe instead. This guy's all up in my face. I'm going to draw my hand axe and I'm going to go ahead and attack him with it. Sure. If we kill this guy, we're not going to get out of this town alive. <laughs> That's true. I uh, 21 to hit. That is. 
Okay. That's going to be with the hunter's mark. It's going to be. Oh, I can roll that. It's an extra d6. Not rolling it. It's going to be a total of six points of damage. I hack into his knee. Nicely done. Valiant, you're up. Uh, your two associates have decided <clears throat> wow. murder hobo into the best course of action. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, yeah, I decide to take a play out of the Error Call Justice Man playbook and say, look, time's not the only thing you're going to have on your hands. I command you and cast command to nice. masturbate. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 18, what is the modifier? Uh, it's a it's a wisdom save of 16. 18 on the roll is good enough. Yeah. Uh, has, that's he never feels something yeah, at first. Yeah, I was going to say, and, he's got to feel something down there. Uh, yeah, he thought about it. <laughs> new round. Two. Masturbate? <laughs> and takes a swing at Valiant's head this time. Come on, he has to do it at disadvantage, for God's sakes. <laughs> a three plus five is an eight. Swing and a miss as he whips. Big swing and a miss. <laughs> uh, you hear the door shut behind you. Uh, <laughs> the guard is like gone. The guard is out. <laughs> Cuddles, you're up. Um, so is is the jail here as well? Or you don't know. You've never just... been here before. That's fair. Why, you going to free all the prisoners and really make a amazing no. stance? <laughs> Tingleberry, can everybody ride your reindeer out of here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a medium-sized beast, so probably get maybe me and one other on there. <laughs> Not all of us, though. Uh, 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 uh. I appeal to <laughs> this is going to go so bad I appeal to him and I say look we know we have these cursed items but maybe we could plant them on your shemp or whatever and his brothers and get rid of them does he have a political rival we could put them on Nice, that's a good call. Persuade me there, Cuddles. Uh, oh, no. Uh, Weezer. I you got to get a dice cam. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. I got 21. Uh, oh. Did you get a natural 20? Natural 20 plus 1. Oh, so you beat him. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, and I'm glad the rapier <laughs> didn't add that to me. I'll tell you what. The Quark brothers are down in the basement in the gulag. If you want to see if you can pawn one of the, that ring off on him, go ahead. But he only allows cuddles to go down there. So just the ring? What if I can get all <clears throat> items on him? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Uh, the ring is held by Tingleberry. Tingleberry, you have to do it. Okay. We cool? I look at him and I say, so I look, Tingleberry, up. those idiots would not know a ring of wishes if they saw it. Yeah. Present them with an opportunity to win that and lose. The, mag the magistrate yells out for Marvin, the guard but I heard a noise outside, boss. What can I do for you? <laughs> All right, he says, uh, take the dome head here uh, that smells like orc uh, down into the, the gulag. <laughs> Pardon me, uh, another hairball. Marvin, right. don't shoot Marvin in the face. Marvin no, definitely won't. takes you down into the gulag uh, and you see the Quark brothers all three in one cell. Uh, and you see a couple of other uh, weirdos. So, hey there, Clark brothers. Yeah. It's your you, lucky you, day. Why? Are you going to turn around and bend over? Wow. <laughs> no, that's uh, not how it goes. But, Why do you smell like an orc? Uh, wouldn't you like to know? But uh, here's the thing. I've got this nice, beautiful, shiny ring. 
You mean the curse ring? Pass. Curse ring? What are you talking about? Curse ring? No, 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 no. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little game, you and I, okay? And we're going to make sure that whoever... See, here's how it's going to work, okay? I'm going to ask you a question. And if I have the answer right, you are going to take the ring, okay? And if you get the answer wrong, you take the ring, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying here? It's a win-win situation, really. Okay, we'll try that. All right, so the question... They will say no, but the individual next to them, a dwarf, says, uh, hey, uh, I get in on some of that action. Well, uh, uh, hmm. um, well, I kind of really would rather just play with these guys here. Uh, I mean, whoa, what else? Seem like a nice guy. <laughs> not trying to be standoffish, but uh, yeah. Um, Court brothers say, "I ain't taking that ring." I right, listen here, you little shit. You're gonna take this ring right now. I'm not playing any more games, okay? I know people, right? <laughs> <laughs> Intimidate me. <laughs> I knew I should have gone down. Nice. <laughs> right with a negative one. That, that's that's what the half orc said. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> now that's a three. That's not going to do it, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> they laugh at you. <laughs> okay. What are you going to uh, do? Throw us in jail again? <laughs> all right. You know what? It, it was a great deal. You guys are turning it down. Fine, fine, fine. You can have the ring. Uh, you know, I will concede. I was wrong. You were right. Here's the ring. <laughs> and then you see this stubby little hand come out from the cell next to it. I'll take the ring. Give it to him. Plug. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> and I go running upstairs to my friends. <laughs> okay, look. Uh, they, uh... Everybody roll a d20. <laughs> oh, Damn no. Because you brought the ring back. Oh, man. 12. 19. Nine. Two hit points of damage as the other molar starts to feel impacted. Oh. <laughs> So alien That looks like it hurt. <laughs> and I, I, and he, are you going to tell us what happened down there? Yeah. So uh, they didn't take it. There's another guy down there, but I'm not going to curse some innocent guy. Okay. I mean, that, that other guy's name is Meeks. Meeks. Yeah. What, what he do? What he's, what's he in jail for? You didn't touch his hand, did you? No, I didn't touch him at all. He has a way of flinging stuff. We call him Monkey Meeks. Oh. Oh. Only because I can't remember the name off of Silence of the Lambs. Oh. Right. Uh, Migs. Multiple Migs. Migs. Multiple Migs. Migs. Yeah. Multiple yeah. Migs. Sorry, not Meeks. Migs. So right. I lean over and I say, let him have the ring. Tell the brothers to pretend you have the ring so the magistrate lets him go. Oh, <laughs> this is why you're the smart one, Cuddles. What was I doing again? Right. And, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I dashed nope, down. you're back done. Down. <laughs> okay. You're in the vlog. All right. So here's how we're going to do, okay? And I explained that, uh, yeah, if you're going to, the magistrate's going to come down here in a minute. You just got to tell him that you have the ring. He's going to let you guys out of here. All right. And everybody's going to be better off. Uh, Migs, you can have the ring, okay? It's gonna look beautiful with your eye color. I just I didn't realize before I put it out. I don't I don't touch him though. I kind of real tenderly drop it. And it he, he he just yeah. grabs it and your hand feels sticky. <laughs> 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 and he gives you uh. that slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time you felt that. Right. Tonight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> I love both, urban adventures. <laughs> both both times were clammy and cold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so then I just kind of, I looked at the brothers. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Whatever. I think you're secretly married to the dwarf. <laughs> Do you want out of this fucking place or not? Oh, no, right? Sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, you give it two multiple yeah. megs. Yeah, and I'll just I'll scurry back upstairs. Okay, it's done. It's done. We did it right. Okay. One down. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. Cuddles. Roll a D20. <laughs> All right. Uh 18. 16. You guys are safe. Uh magistrate. Okay. All right. I'm fine with that resolution. All right. Sorry okay. about your knee. Uh huh. Uh, Sorry about your head. Yeah. <laughs> Is Marvin still around? Why? Uh, what happened to my head? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Amnesia. Who am I? Where am I? Thursday. What? Potato. Is there a female president? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a woman president. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Here's how Tingleberry has gotten rid of his cursed item. Next up is the church in the center of the plaza. Or uh, the witch on the far side. Well, we'll take him to church. <laughs> Everybody roll a d20 at advantage. 12. 11 and 11. <laughs> uh, 16. There you go. Uh, the rain is just coming down in buckets, but at least the lightning missed you. Uh, you enter the church, I assume. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, th- this is the church of Jeebus Crisp, uh, noted fire deity. Uh, you go in, and this place is really well lit. It has a lot of oil lamps, ornate marble, uh, very, very plush decor. The entire floor is done in colorful mosaics. Uh, up at the altar is what appears to be an inebriated uh, individual. I lean over to the Valiant and I say, maybe we can just slip your item into one of the braziers and it'll melt. Um, I mean, it's possible if it gets hot enough. Uh, or I think a curse is you have to pass it on. Um, I don't know. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Is there Definitely. a collect? Is it's there a collection chlamydia. box? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's There's good. a donation box. Yeah. I'll, I'll settle up to the donation box and make a donation of one brass button. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Along with a gold piece. So. Uh, right, because you don't want Jeebus nice. pissed. I have put yeah. a gold piece in too. Oh, very nice. Tingleberry. Yeah, I'll follow suit. Why not? Why are we here? <laughs> for, for a good cause. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they're putting gold coins in here, but yeah, sure. Seemed like a good idea, you know. Each one of you gets one hit point back. Oh, nice. All right. All right. What do you want to do next? I got to go get rid of my thimble. Okay. Headed to the witch, I assume. Yeah. You guys leave the church of Jeebus Crisp. Uh, still lightning in the area, so everybody rolls E20. 12. 8. Uh, 17. One lost hit point again. Cuddles. Uh, Cuddles. Valiant, I'm going to need you to make a d20 roll, please. Okay. Uh, 14. 16. Uh, both of you are okay. Uh, Valiant, you made insight check. Uh, 15. The f- the it's here so in your pocket. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, oh, I no. saw it drag me to hell, man. I was afraid of that. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody roll another lightning check because you're oh. standing around with your dorks in your hand. <laughs> six. <laughs> oh, man. Twelve. I also got a six. Uh, you two take two hit points of damage. <laughs> you get a bum knee. <laughs> uh, so you're in the middle of the plaza. The church is right there, or you can keep going to the. Bridge. Let's just go back to the fucking church. <sighs> yeah, we'll we'll take we'll take. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, that was too easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as uh. you go into the well lit chapel, Church of Jebus, uh, you notice the altar, but you don't see the drunk anymore. Damn it. Okay. Um, how about uh, is there like confessionals with like uh, you know like a red candlelight burning or something like that? Sure. Yeah. There's a okay. wooden confessional on the left and on the right. All right. Uh, is is it a chance that the cleric is in there? <laughs> I don't know. You want to check? 
Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I'll take the right. I have two. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the right is empty. Yes, the right you do have empty. cure light wounds. Okay. Does that help anybody? Uh, you can do it to yourself or to one of those two. How, how bad are you guys? Because, you know, I am a paladin. I'm starting <laughs> yeah. to get whittled down a bit. <laughs> okay, all right. So with that, uh, yeah, I've got uh, blah, blah, blah. a lay on hands. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, how many hit points are you now? <sighs> Seven. Seven? Okay, seven to you and to um, Tingleberry? On a scale of one to 28, I'm about an 18 right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven points to you. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. Thank so you kindly. So you're still down 11? No, if he gives me seven? Yeah, yeah I give you no, seven. No, that'll, that'll put me at um, down my three. Oh, okay, down my ten. Uh, you guys watch as Valiant heals you. Uh, he just came back from the right confessional. Nothing there. Yeah, yeah, he's not in. So <laughs> I'm going to try the left one. <laughs> Is there anybody else in the, the uh, church? No. Nope. Okay. Don't miss anybody. Uh, you go into the left. Yep. Nobody there. Nobody there. Okay. All right. Nobody's here. Damn it. So, <laughs> I need to make a confession. I, I started, had illicit thoughts about a half orc, and then I acted upon them. I started racing up and down the aisle. Uh, Is that doing zoomies? Yes. <laughs> Cuddles, investigation, please. Fourteen. Uh, the passed out individual is behind the altar. Everybody roll a d20 except for Tingleberry. Oh. Four. Uh, 16. One hit point, Cuddles. I go, Valiant! This fucker's over here. Okay. <laughs> nice fucker, right there in the church of Jeebus Crisp. Yeah, I don't fucker. follow Jeebus Crisp, Hail Satan. Oh, <laughs> Hail Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, All right. So, uh, actually, so, just crap on the altar while you're there. So, I, so I go around the altar. There's and no see this sand here. That's why. That's right. Individual. Is he wearing a chasuble? Uh, he's wearing, uh, altar vestments. Yeah. Yeah. Chasuble. Okay. So, he's, is. he's passed out, right? Does he oh, have yeah. a barbed wire crown? <laughs> yes. He has a barbed wire uh, crown of thorns. Nice. He then. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, folks. Does he, does he appear to have uh, any pockets? You gonna feel him up? No, I not gonna feel him up. I'm just gonna just put drop, it under his drop the collar and, or whatever. Yeah, well, it, it's a robe, so the cassock covers everything. I oh, mean, you I don't see. know if he's wearing clothes underneath there. He might oh. be like Judge Judy, who's naked under that robe. Hand of God, folks. That old crone is naked underneath a robe. <laughs> Maybe he has nipple piercings and the I, ring will just drop down and catch on it. Yikes. Yeah, well, it's his <laughs> button. I tell you what, what oh, I do good. is I I take off my cape and I I take uh, the thing that holds it around my neck, take that off and thread it through the button and put it around the priest's neck. There you go. So now your cloak is worthless. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Uh, so you have given him jewelry. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. You want to walk out? We yeah, we'll give out. it a try. We'd... Okay, let's Tippy check that out. lightning again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's Two. See. Jesus. I'll kill 14. you without even having to do anything. 17. <laughs> Two hit points, Cuddles. <sighs> wow. <laughs> No, it's nickel and diamond. It's, like, it's like a comb across a cat's back. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> but in reverse, <laughs> I'm snipping parts of your tail off. You're never going to be able to jump My whiskers. Again. Jesus, uh, I'll never oh, be able to no. find out what I can find <laughs> you. <laughs> you guys bolt across the way following the instructions of Horatio. Uh, inside this normal town is an old shack. 
with a rusted tin roof uh, right uh -oh. there near the wall. It looks very out of place. It looks like it's been here since the dawn of time. Uh, there are candles flickering in the windows. I'm not sleeping with this one too, guys. Okay, let's do this right. Maybe I'm she's not. Hot. I'm not. What if okay, she's hot? once. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna like it. Okay, I'll like it, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm again. not gonna offer, but I'll <laughs> do it if we have to. Okay? <laughs> Maybe we could disguise the reindeer. No, he is it's not DTF, stable. I'll be honest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not after last night. <laughs> The three-way. <laughs> no, you don't want to know, Cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys are at this Crohn's shack. I scratch at the um, door. Okay. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> so I do the caterall. <laughs> uh, you hear somebody <laughs> yell out from their second story window. Shut up, you damn cat! And uh, let's see if I magically hit you with a shoe. A, boot. <laughs> a 12, a boot sails into the street by far bypassing you. Uh, uh, still no answer. I give him up. the kitty middle finger. <laughs> nice. And I yell out, I am going to pee on your door <laughs> if you don't oh, open geez. up. Shut up, Larry! <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there a back door? Uh, you can check. I check for the back door. Nope. It's like a mushroom cottage. Just one door in. No windows? Um, there is a window now that you asked. It's with Coke bottle glasses. Or Coke bottle glass. Uh, who wants to try and peer in? Uh, I guess I will. Investigation check. I'm looking around to see if maybe the witch is kind of out and about in the street. Sure. Good, good call. Uh, 12. Uh, you see what appears to be a body lying on the floor oh, inside. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Uh, I will take another d20 check from you, please. Four. Jesus Christ. Two more hit points. <laughs> oh, my god. Deep as crest. <laughs> Oh man. oh man! I go Brutal. to the door and I try to push it open. Uh, uh, it appears to be locked. You will have to force your way inside. I learned, I I go around. I'm like, <coughs> guys, can you help me? Out? <laughs> <laughs> Valiant, if you could use your can lock you, pick, sir. Open the door for me. <laughs> yes, Valiant the Paladin. Please yeah. Pick the lock of the domicile. I'm going to die in front I've of you. I've got it. Valiant, I take my mall. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's mall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I take the mall and strike the door. Sure. Go ahead and give me a two hit. Okay. Two hit. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, seventeen to hit. Oh yeah, you shatter the shit out of that door, sending shards of wood inside, covering a body of a woman in an elaborate robe, face down, pool of blood. Oh man. Oh, man. Do the guards hear the noise? No. Oh. <laughs> I draw my bow because I can see that she's dead, and I start getting ready in case there's the attacker about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the door was locked, mm -hmm. so and it, it's not you know. Not when we got here. It's not a <laughs> it's not a true bolt, so uh, the attacker's probably inside. Maybe. Uh, who wants to go inside? Anybody? Did they hear Bueller? us? Bueller? You don't know yet. A lot of lightning and thunder going on. Hmm. I'll okay. go. All right. I have dark vision. Nice. Oh, there's candles in there. I can go squint around. Uh, do you want to investigate the body or the surrounding areas? Surrounding areas. Uh, it looks like she was some kind of witch uh, brewing a variety of potions, as it were. Uh, currently, there are four marked potions. I'm sorry. Currently, there are three marked potions. Uh, one is healing. Uh, everybody give me insight if you can determine 
what the two alchemi alchemical signs are for the other two potions. Uh, let's see. 16. What are we doing, insight or investigation? Insight. Insight or arcana, I guess. Uh, 20, dirty 20. 11. Uh, Tingleberry, you have no idea what these potions uh, do. Uh, what the is, potions. What is marked healing? But clearly healing. Uh, the other one is marked with the alchemical symbol of levitation, and the other one is marked fire with a circle and a slash through it. Resistance. Right. Okay, okay, well, I grab the healing one and stick it in my pocket. Yeah, I was about to say, well, I feel bad for pilfering, but this could come in handy. Hey, she does need it anymore, you know? Exactly. Right. So, uh, uh, also, Cuddles, give me a, an investigation check, please. Since she's not dead, I'm going to go in as well. My bow is still ready, and I'm looking around to see if there's anybody. Sure, I'll take a investigation check from you as well. Sixteen, right. eighteen. So, so is the crown dead, or is she just? She's on a pool of blood. You assume it's hers. I got a okay. twenty. Could be like Saw. 20 beats 19. Uh, Tingleberry, as you step in, you notice one of the floorboards is loose. Uh, investigating it further, you notice that you can lift up the board, and below it is a hidden copper box. Mm. Hey, look at this. When you pick it up, it jingles like there's something in it. Valiant, are you going in? Uh... Yeah, I'm going in. Okay, Valiant, you're looking at this body. Great big pool of blood. Kind of tacky, so okay. it's uh, fairly recent. Been a bit. Uh, okay. Cuddles, time for you to roll another d20 check. Okay. I'm going to inspect the body and check to see any obvious wounds. Sure. Nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are, we're rolling awesome tonight, guys. One hit point of damage. Uh... <laughs> 21 for, for Valiant. For, uh, Valiant decides to leave all of his DNA evidence around so that Tubbs yeah. and Crockett can arrest him. Uh, uh, this is an elven woman and has multiple stab wounds about her chest and torso. Uh, the blood is definitely hers. I can't believe. And she looks like a witch. And the, what the does door witch was like? locked. Okay. Uh, you know what witches look like. Uh, bad hair, uh, dirty bad fingernails. Pretty much uh, Green skin, anything that well, Tingleberry would date. <laughs> kind of like Missy <laughs> Files. <laughs> uh, can I just stick the thimble back on her and get the hell out? Why, you most certainly can. It's not like she's going to fight you. Is that what you do? Yes. Uh... A ghostly spirit rises of from the corpse. Everybody roll initiative. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's crap. First yeah. bad roll. Two. Wow. 15. Not that bad. Tingleberry? Seven. Well, you tied me. Oh, man. Uh, all three of you see this gray mist rise up from her, and it starts to form into the shape of an elven woman. Valiant, you're up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what What's the the speech Ray gives the, the ghost? Go get her, Ray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give her the Gozar and the Go Gozarian. <laughs> um, From the municipality of New York City, you, I command right. you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what you do? Or go back to your plane of origin. Or <laughs> right. nice. well, the nearest plane of origin that you can get to. Is yeah. that what you do? Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. First off, everybody has to do a wisdom save. Otherwise, you're Scooby doing it and hightailing it out of here. Oh, okay. 18. 16. Now, that, that takes into account your loss of wisdom, correct? Yes. 16 for Valiant. 18. Uh, well, none of you were afraid because the image is just so beautiful. 
uh, Tingleberry, uh, she is looking around and claws pop out. She's related to Wolverine. And she's going to go for a number six. So, uh, Tingleberry, I'll let you go first. We did tie, though, and you are not going to kill it. So, go ahead. Hey, we're just bringing your shit back. Calm down. I'm going to take my arrow and I'm going to jam it into the side of that little box I found and open it. I just want to see what's in it first, just in oh. case it's something we can use. Sure. Gems. Oh, okay. I look at them. I slide them out of the way. We'll be back for you. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna take aim. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Uh, now, hang on. Uh -oh. I, I'm going to count the uh, yep. looking in the box as your bonus action. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll, I'll still give you your attack, though. Oh, I'll just I'll just cast Hunter's Mark. I'll, I'll attack next round. Oh, okay. Uh, she reaches out and calls you my pretty cuddles and tries to slash you across the face with an 11 plus 4. It is a 15 hit. Yes. This is going to hurt. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Oh, um, Here, Steve. that's a pair of murder hobos, boys and girls. Uh -oh. uh, you take 14 <laughs> hit points of damage. Holy shit. Holy crap. 14? Okay. 14. Okay, can I down that healing potion? <laughs> uh, you can on your turn, which it is right now. I do that. D8 okay. plus two, no ones. Ah, oh, Jesus. Four. That's what I rolled, too. So you get six hit points back. Top of the order, Valiant. Oh, and you also see Cuddles start to get a lot of gray hair. Because uh, this is going to be necrotic damage. Uh, oh, that Valiant, uh, Cuddles looks like she's aged. Okay. She's down uh, to, like, six lives. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I, I channel Divinity. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, given yeah. an inspiring presence of leadership and uh, everybody gets nine temporary hit points. Oh, thank God. Ooh. Okay. And I guess that counts as my action. Correct. Yeah. Tingleberry, I'll let you go first. Here, again. Steve. Stop. Trixie, okay. stop. I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, sure. so I can't do both of those at the same time. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to take aim. I'm going to fire. Sure. It's time to blast, bitch. That's it. 19 to hit. Oh, yeah. Easily. 12 to hit Harriet Hellcat's Banshee. Okay. She's going to take eight points of piercing damage and then let an arrow fly. And actually, because I have I, hang on, I have my Hunter's Mark, I actually get another D6 from that. So. No, no, that's got to be including that. Hang on one second. Yeah, eight's the one die. Okay. So uh, instead of eight, it is 12. Sorry. Congress. Got it. Uh, I am going to take aim at oh. two. Here is uh, my magic oh. talisman. Magic, magic shithead. Uh, Steve. Valiant, uh, Steve. Harry and Hellcat does not appreciate your paladin ways. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Paladin ways. <laughs> 18 plus four. 22. Boy, that just hits. <laughs> One murder hobo and a three for nine hit points. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I highly recommend the murder hobo. There now. goes the temporary hit points. <laughs> uh, Cuddles, you're feeling a little bit old, but you're up. Well, I'm not even sure what the fuck to do at this point. Um... <laughs> at least I'm not making you roll the d20 yet. That's next round. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh no. Can I, I really like this concept. Can I cast <laughs> burning Good. inspiration on everyone? Sure. Sure. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Everybody gets a D six to any roll that they want. Uh new round. Oh. New round. Valiant, you're yep. up. All right. Uh, <laughs> batter up. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Valiant is going to cast, uh, <coughs> let's see, uh, uh, la, 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 let's see, a Wrathful Smite. Nice. That'll, that'll put the pain on her. Okay. So, let's see. Nice. 
Uh, a 19 to hit? Oh yeah, 12 is all you need to hit this thing. Okay. Uh, Easy to hit, hard to kill. 11 plus uh, 16 points. Nice, nice, nice. Radiant damage. I think it's radiant. Knocked her down. Uh, Tingleberry, I will allow you to go next, even though we are tied. So should should you destroy me? He has to do a wisdom save. Sorry. It's psychic damage, or she'll be afraid, frightened. Uh, 16 is the DC. Uh, Yeah, she's not going to be afraid. Okay. Go ahead, Tingleberry. All righty. I'm going to knock another arrow. We don't want any problems, bitch. <laughs> as I ahead. shoot at her. That's <laughs> it. As I shoot at her. Please stop. Bang, bang. Or I'll shoot. Bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, I'm going to get another 19. Now I'm finally rolling. I saved all my rolling for this, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get... It is the BBG, so... That's it. Okay, with the extra 1d6 for Hunter's Mark, that's going to be a total of 10 points of damage. A little bit lower Ouch. roll than last time. Uh, next up on the hit list, that's a three. Uh, Tingleberry, uh, she did not like that, so she's going to do the hit. Okay. 13 plus 4, 17. That'll hit me, yeah, for sure. You know what? Let's let's try these two. Oh, yeah. Murder Hobo and a two. Eight hit points of damage as she Ooh. breaks you across the face. Nice. That's only going to oh. your charisma to Matilda. Hey. Uh, Cuddles. Stink scars. That's, That's right. <laughs> Cuddles, you're up. Can you put this thing down? Probably not. Um. <coughs> All right. I'll try my dagger. Sure. Uh. Nineteen. Hits. And one D eight plus three. You mean rapier? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, like, what kind of fucking dagger do you have? <laughs> Sorry. Let's say, it's a bully knife. <laughs> uh, seven. Ooh. Uh, the ghostly apparition of Harriet Hellcat screeches in pain and just the noise is assaulting. Oh. Everybody make a con save. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, except this is the first time a woman screamed at me tonight. Not 20, but I guess I'm still at disadvantage, con? Or did I... You just lost a point. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 19. Uh, 15 uh, plus two, 17. Ooh, no murder hobos that time. Six hit points of damage, cuddles, and blood begins to escape your ears. Oh, man. oh crap. Are you okay. still up? Barely. I have like four points. The apparition breaks up as the scream lessens completely. Of course, it was pretty loud, so I'm wondering if any of the guards heard that. Uh, Cuddles! You know what it's time for, Cuddles? It's time for D20, Cuddles. Awesome. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh, Are we still in initiative? (laughs) Safe. Uh, What do you want to do with the golden thimble there, Cuddles? Is the body still there? Oh, yeah, the body's still there. Well, I shoved it on her. That's what brought this whole process apart. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so so the thimble is on there, so that last roll is unnecessary. Yeah, so fuck you. <laughs> uh, you guys look around. Uh, I I cast Cure Wounds on Cuddles. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Um, I'll mosey on back over to that little box of gems and start scooping them up. Healing. Uh, what'd you say, Valiant? Uh, 11 points of healing to Cuddles. Nice. Oh, Thank you. Uh, Tingleberry, 120 gold pieces worth of gems. Cool. Mm-hmm. I've got one more spell slot. Uh, Tingleberry, do you need some healing? Uh, I'm okay. You go ahead and help our furry friend. 
Can we okay. just get the fuck out of here and go to the I like end? that too. Back like to the loving idea. embrace of, of my darling Matilda. Well, you oh, gotta cross the plaza one more time. Everybody oh. D20. <laughs> right. 15. 12. 17. Uh, you guys managed to get soaked, but no lightning strikes. Nobody is in the plaza. No guards to be seen anywhere. You guys make it back to the inn. Uh, Tingleberry, D12 against me. If I roll higher, any shit you left in your room is gone, <laughs> along with Matilda. If you win, Matilda is there uh, telling you to paint her like one of your French girls. Okay. Oh, two. <laughs> wow. Three. Your so shit is close. gone. Wow. You know what? <sighs> uh, did you have any shit there? No, probably not. Not really. really. So She's going to take your reindeer instead. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, you know it won't be the first time he's run off with one of my ladies. <laughs> one to five, they'll be serving reindeer steaks <gasps> at the end of the war. Oh, no, no. Not Chip. Or oh. Chip. That's an eight, so no reindeer steaks. Well, at least oh, he's living God. his best life somewhere it else. Gives, <laughs> it, gives you a, it gives you another reason to find um, that's until it. the wall scene. Yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> you will, however, <clears throat> get a good night's sleep here. Uh, the guards will discover the dead body of Harriet. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of left the thimble there. <laughs> <laughs> so it was hers right eh, you were in the last known possession of it no. so. that's not, <laughs> not mine <laughs> so uh, there may be some uh, legal entanglements yeah I'm leaving town sorry <laughs> my cat ass is out we've of got here. a reindeer to find that's we right. gotta find that yeah. Tilda bitch uh, sadly uh, stole my heart and stole my best friend. That's right. <laughs> I, I just wish you guys would have shared the room. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Kevin, what'd you think? Oh, so much fun. Uh, okay. Always a blast, Frank. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for playing with me. Oh, thank you for everybody for watching. Yeah. Uh, awesome. David, what'd you think? Oh, fun as always. Yeah. It was yeah. fun as always. Yeah, I, I kind of like this scenario. I don't know yeah, why. it's a good one. Yeah, the curse yeah. thing was fun too because at first I was like, "Is there something wrong with the rain? Is there yeah, something else yeah, going on?" Like exactly. I, yeah, I didn't pick it up at first, so that was cool. That was real cool. Yeah, I, I thought that was a clever idea. So, so. what was with the cat? Just... What was with the cat? It's his pet. Sh it's Shadow? just oh, his just, pet. That's Never it? said anything yeah, about it. Just okay. Pet. Uh, right. Carrie, since I kicked the shit out of you all night long, <laughs> what you think? <laughs> you tried to kill me, probably on purpose. The dice giveth and the dice taketh That's away. It. So That's I, it. I claim. What and you know, you know what? There's if anybody had any thoughts of others' oh, favoritism there, that shit ended tonight. That ended tonight. You got a crap beat out. As <laughs> yeah. well as the favoritism I had towards you. That oh tonight. no. <laughs> uh. I'm now your second best DM. That's right. <laughs> behind nobody uh but hey you know it is what it is everybody had a good time and that's the important thing about dnd yeah. so folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive check out kevin's podcast uh if you want to buy our cool shit like the shirt and the i don't know photo booth or whatever the hell you've got uh check that out if you need if you need <laughs> dice check out at pirate dog dice on twitter if you want your game to smell way better than ours uh, oddfishgames.com has over 60 cents. They also have a shine system, so you can write gooder than me. Uh, don't forget, in February, the weekend of Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day is on a Monday, Murder Hobo Con, our second charity convention. Uh, we are looking for event uh, DM, GM uh, individuals as well as sponsors. So if you'd like to sponsor or run an event, uh there is a discount for the amount of hours you put in uh to your badge cost uh if you're a participant just want to play uh one badge gets you into any game that you want as long as you sign up to it badge sales go on sale later this month because it's the first awesome. uh but yeah had a huge success last time for a first time con uh, this time we're going with uh oceana.org uh to help clean up the oceans because 
uh, we got an island theme going and the venue is coming along nicely. Folks, happy new year. Uh, we hope this is a great year for you. Hopefully you come on the show. Hopefully you find your own game, uh, whatever floats your boat. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, let's give them a big uh, kiss and wave and uh, say happy new year. Mwah, happy, happy new, new year, year folks. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Happy new year.